speech for cookie. Let's see how to create a parametric object and add it to the asset management to use it on your project. I will first by calling speedflow companion. I will click on this single vertice uh, button here. I am now in edit mode. I have my vertice selected. I will press G. I will press middle mouse button to control on the X axis like that, or you can press X and I will click to move it here. I will make an extrusion with E, middle mouse button or X. I will do this like that. So now I have two vertices. I want to add a uh, displace on each one to be able to edit my object after. So I will select the first one. I will call speed flow and I will choose displace. That will give me this possibility. As you can see, I have a new displace in X in the group. Okay. You have the name here. I will press tab. I will select the second one. I will press space to create a new the modifier and I will choose displace and with S I will be able to move it like that. Okay. So left arrow K like that to change to go from, from one to another. Okay. So this is pretty useful. I will show you what you can do with this after. I will now add a screw modifier S for the steps like that. Just to show you for the displace, I will come back and call the displace. I'm in the object mode. I am on the first one, from the second one, and if I press S, I will have this. The first one, I will have this. So as you can see, I made the displace to be able to edit my object on the fly in object mode. And with speed flow, that will be really fast. Let's come back on this screw. On this screw, like I said, S is for the steps. D is for the screw. F is for the iteration, if you want. G is for the angle. So I want, let's see, something like that. I will increase the number of segments like that. All the models of speed flow use the same keys, S, D, F, G, H, etc., etc. So on this one, I want to add a solidify like that. S for the thickness, just like that. Okay. So I will now add the bevel, space, bevel. S for the D with, like that. You can play with the number of segments with D. It's up to you. Let's see, I want four. Should be enough. And that's it. If I come back on my displays, I have this. Second displays, I have this. If I come back on my screw, I can do this. On this one, I can do this. Let's see. On this one, I can do this. On this one, I can do this. So as you can see, everything is editable. This object is just a simple vertice. So our first parametric object is correct. Uh, let's add it to the asset management. I will select the root uh, directory. I will click on the plus here and I will create a category object like that. I will validate. I will select this category. I will create another category inside. I will name it Rondel. And I will validate. I will select now this uh, category. I want to add this object inside this category. I will click on the little plus here. I will name my object. And I will choose cycle, uh, thumbnail, EV, etc., etc. I want to use cycle and I will export. Just have to wait a little for the thumbnail. And once it's okay, you added your first object into the asset management, just like that. This is really fast. The interesting part of this parametric object is that you can edit your object. Let's see like that. I will, uh, in fact, select the first one. Up. I want something more small like that. You can edit this solidify. You can even edit the offset of this solidify. So like that, you will have directly something like that. On this screw, you can let's see, edit this. On the iteration with F, you can make this. So let's do this. I want to keep this. Okay. So I'm okay with this. Maybe, maybe on the second one, I want something like that. Okay. So this one is correct. This is what I want. You can, if you want to try to follow the uh, size of the grid, let's see. And this one, bam, to make something like that. I will have two centimeters. Okay. So let's add this one. So now I just have to click on the plus. I will name it 
hopla, 002, enter, and export. And that's it. My second object is done. I created two objects like that. So I can add, let's see, another one. Let's play with the displays. Uh, I want something like that. I can edit this. I will increase uh, this. Play with this solidify. And that's it. I created another one. I will just click on plus. Up. Those are three. Export. And that's it. You can create as many uh, versions as you want. And you will have all of them directly in the asset management. And like that, you can use them on the fly on your project. And since it's parametric object, you can edit absolutely everything. And this is really, really, really a useful workflow. So that's it.